Podcast Super Bowl by Beats Control. Dark chocolate. Noids and research shows that these nutrients reduce insulin resistance, improve insulin sensitivity, drop insulin levels and fasting blood glucose, and blunt cravings. But not all chocolate is created equal. In a 2008 study from the University of Copenhagen, people who ate dark chocolate reported that they felt less like eating sweet, salty, and sweet, salty. Broccoli. Brutus superhero. As with other cruciferous veggies, like kale and cauliflower, it contains a compound called sulforaphane, which triggers several anti-inflammatory processes that improve blood sugar control and protect blood vessels from the cardiovascular damage that's often a consequence of diabetes. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for people with diabetes. So this protection could be a lifesaver, it could be a lifesaver. Blueberries. Out, they contain both insoluble fiber, which flushes fat out of your system, and soluble fiber, which slows down the emptying of your stomach, and improves blood sugar control. In a study by the USDA, people who consume two and one half cups of wild blueberry juice per day for 12 weeks lowered their blood glucose levels. Blood glucose levels. Steel cut oats. Oatmeal is a superfood, but it can help reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Oatmeal contains high amounts of magnesium, which helps the body use glucose and secrete insulin properly. An 8-year trial showed a 19% decrease in type 2 diabetes risk in women with a magnesium-rich diet, and a 31% decreased risk in women who regularly ate whole grains. We ate whole grains. Fish rich in protein, it will help to keep you satisfied, but also, fish contains a special type of fat that helps cool inflammation. Thousands of studies show that people with the highest blood levels of omega-3 fatty acids have less body-wide inflammation, the very inflammation that leads to and worsens diabetes and weight problems. And weight problems. 